Scallops look delicious. Technically, you could cook this if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so we're here at 37 Shang trying their all-you-can-eat hot pot and seafood sashimi. It's $48.80. Then you also gotta factor in the soup base, which you pay for separately. I think the small is $5.50, and then the large is $18.50. So what are we doing? Alright, we're getting sauces. They actually bring the sauce cart to you, so we have a sick sauce for you. You guys are getting the inside scoop on my favorite hot pot sauce. Shabu shabu platter right here. A bunch of fish tofu, enoki mushroom. Which one is this one? Uh, the fish roll uh, balls. Oh, fish roll balls. So like a variation of fish ball. I always get pumpkin and taro because they really soak up the broth. And then we got a bunch of quail eggs. My favorite. This is literally my favorite thing to eat at hot pot. And then we got what they call Japanese tofu. It looks like egg tofu, so really really excited to have that and then we got one ramen noodle as well underneath it is the special dish we got spicy fish fillets look how spicy it looks i'm gonna grab a nice big juicy piece right there and drop it right in i'm gonna try it without the sauce first just because i want to taste like what they put on it like the marinade whoa that's super flavorful i'm gonna taste it with sauce but i honestly don't think you need it because there's so much flavor already packed in the fish This is the shrimp paste. It comes with your all you can eat and it's so cool. It's like ground up shrimp. So you make your own like shrimp balls essentially. It's going in my tomato soup. All right, it's in. Mm. Delicious. So good. So much delicious, thank you. That's all you, buddy. Apparently. So the oysters came. We didn't think it would come with this much, but it's like a dozen essentially. I see some of them even have two, which is crazy. She doesn't like oysters, so this is all up to me now. Blue point oysters. Let's see. Mm. Is it good? Actually, it's delicious. It's very fresh. Really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. It does not taste like all you can eat oysters to me. No fishy taste. You just taste the lemon and the sauce. All right, so this is the sashimi. So let's try scallops. I love raw scallops. Dip it in some soy sauce with wasabi. Mm, that's so fresh. It's not something you expect from an all-you-can-eat place, but it tastes like, like a very quality scallop, honestly. You know how sometimes at a buffet, you never know if the salmon's gonna be good? It's either like really nice, rich and fatty, or fishy. This is like the fatty kind, so good. Definitely get the salmon. So now I'm gonna try the Arctic Bay. It's the red clam. It looks very fresh too. Let's see. I know some people don't really like this, but for me, it's one of my favorites actually. And this place does it well. It's honestly a little fishy, this red snapper. I think that's just how red snapper is. I don't think that's anything on their part. Personally for me, I don't really like the fish. It's pretty fresh too. Okay, soaked in the soy sauce. Mmm, that one's good. That one tastes very fresh. This is all you can eat, guys. Remember that. And you're getting a ton of each type of item. Look at all that, guys. Okay, let's cook some seafood now. So we ordered a couple of prawns. So I'm just gonna put one in there. Shell and all, so you do have to peel the shell for this, but it does look really nice and fresh. And that goes in. We also got some scallops. Now this looks a bit different, but I think they just took it out of whatever shell it was in. So I'll put one of this in there. The last thing on our seafood 
food plate here is something called butterfish. I don't remember if we've had this before, but it looks like a nice fresh white fish. So just gonna drop that in there. Okay. So it looks like the shrimp is done. It doesn't take too long for it. So once you remove the head, there's not really too much meat. You see it's pretty small. Is this the chicken feet? Yes. Oh, oh okay, it looks good. Boneless chicken feet. Looks pretty good, honestly. Kind of disappointed because I thought it was completely boneless for some reason. Maybe I shouldn't have thought that. But taste wise, it's just spicy and vinegary. Spicy salmon gyoza. It's filled with salmon and they put a spicy mayo on it. Fried to perfection. I like it. Now I know in hot pot, veggies aren't like the highest ticket items, but it's always nice to have a bit of veggie in your shabu shabu. So we got um, some more mushrooms here, watercress, and we got um, a type. I just like the taste of it, honestly. There's a slight bitterness to it. I feel like this is a classic. You always have to get noodles with hot pot to soak up any broth. I think one of the things I really like about this place is the fact that the broth itself is so delicious you honestly don't really need your sauce like, i do like the fact that you can do sauce but my broth is so good like the tomato soup is so rich it tastes like mikey chen's tomato soup which we've done a review on in the past and it's just as good it's just as rich just as flavorful a lot of tomato flavor where we're seated at is the small hot pot table so these are small hot pots so these are 550 per person and they actually have a different one with larger, where you can like basically have two. It's like a big rectangle, and then it's split into two, so you can have two separate hot pot bases. And that one's eighteen fifty. So financially, it just makes more sense to do the five fifty. So if you come with a small group, definitely makes sense to get the small hot pot table because it's just cheaper overall. And these boots, by the way, they're really spacious, especially for two people. I would say it could easily sit four people comfortably. Six is stretching it, so I think they would move you to a different sort of booth. And if you ever need anything, there's a little call button right here at the edge of your table to get more food or just get anything else you need. So we're here at 37 Shang in downtown Flushing to answer the one question. Is it worth it? So base price, you're paying $48.80 per person. Comes out to roughly $50. And then you add in the $5.50 per person for the soup base. Let's say it's about 60 per person, 65 because of tax and tip. So 65 per person, is it worth it? I think yes, honestly, especially if you're coming for like a celebration. Like this is very, I would say luxury, fancy food that you can get for a relatively good price, especially for the fact that it's all you can eat. So you don't really need to worry about like how you split the bill. All the prices should be pretty much the same unless someone wants to get like king crabs or something or lobster, which does cost extra just so you know. I still think that it's worth it because you're getting sashimi, you're getting fresh shrimp paste, which is the best item here on the menu. You're getting all your classic shabu shabu stuff, everything you can, unlimited. And not to mention, you also get meats as well, not just seafood, like high quality beef pieces. When I come back here, um, this is not a, like everyday kind of hot pot place. Like I wouldn't come here every month. If it's someone's birthday, they really want to like splurge, enjoy themselves. I would not mind shelling out the 65 and enjoy myself. So yes, definitely with the $60, it is a steep price for a hot pot, especially since other places are maybe 30 to 40 at the top range. We recommend it. Let us know what you guys think if you check it out. Thank you for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed our review of 37 Xiang. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>